my favorite plugins have gotten big new updates. So today I wanna highlight what's new for you. We're first gonna be looking at the surface tracker from Motion VFX, and we're also gonna take yet another look at Peeper. Now you may remember just a few weeks ago, I posted this video where I did a head-to-head -head battle of background removers with a lot of different options for Final Cut Pro to see which one worked best. And then of course, a few days after I made that video, I got a notice that Keeper was getting a big update. So today I wanna to redo that test with the new version of Keeper. I'm gonna to link to both of these plugins down below if you're curious to try them out for yourself. Let's first start with that Surface Tracker. The update that M Tracker Surface got is an improvement to the planar tracking speed and accuracy. Now, M Tracker Surface is part of the Cine Studio suite of tools from Motion VFX. I did a whole video about Cine Studio when they dropped it. It is stellar. I will link to that video down below if you haven't seen it yet. But in that video, this is the test shot I did in that original review. And this was my result with the original Surface Tracker. Once I got the updated Surface Tracker, I tried that exact shot again. And I would say that the results on the first track were excellent, but the new version is, I think, slightly better. If you look closely, there's a little less jitter in the track than there was in the original. But I didn't see a huge, huge difference, so I thought I'd give it another try on something more challenging. Here is a shot of a man lifting weights. Look at the rumples in his shirt as he lifts those weights. So we're going to throw a Nike logo over this, and I'm going to use the mesh tool here for this shirt. And look at how good the results are. I pulled in some people from my office to look at the shot after I applied the surface tracker and they didn't even know what they were looking for. They could not believe that that logo wasn't really on his shirt. So you can see how amazing the surface tracker is. Now, like I said, M Tracker Surface is part of the Cine Studio suite of tools from Motion VFX and it ain't cheap and it's a subscription, unfortunately. My feeling about stuff like that is if you are editing professionally and this is the kind of thing that can make you money, I say go for it. If you're just editing as a hobby, maybe you don't need to spring for Cine Studio, but if you're curious at all about it, I definitely encourage you to watch my original review on it because there's a lot more in that pack than just the surface tracker that I think you're really gonna love. All right, let's move on to the new version of Keeper. Keeper used to only key out people. It would detect people in your shot and cut them off the background. But the new version of Keeper actually has wider detection capabilities, so it's not just people you can cut off the background. Let's give it a try. Let's take a quick look at the results last time we used Keeper. It did a great job on people, but when it came to animals or other objects like this car, it just didn't work as well. So let's start with this first shot again of this redheaded woman. I'm going to apply the Keeper effect. And if we remember from last time, it had a hard time hanging on to her clipboard because it really just detects people. But this is what's new in the latest version of Keeper. Under this line where it says detect, it says person or subject. I'm going to select subject. And you can see it has a much easier time hanging on to that clipboard. Let's do a side by side of the rest of the test shots between the old version of Keeper and the new one. So you can clearly see the new version of Keeper has much more flexibility. The good news on both of these plugins is if you've already bought them, these upgrades are free. But if you're curious about them, I'll link to them down below. Like I said, thanks to everyone who watches all the way to the end. Here's some other videos I know you're gonna love. I'll see you guys again.